In this video, we'll look at the net ionic equation for the reaction of sodium chloride plus sulfuric acid. And this is kind of a tricky one. So we're going to start out by assuming that we have an aqueous solution dissolved in water of this sulfuric acid in sodium chloride. We know that compounds with sodium are very soluble. So sodium chloride, that's going to be aqueous. And the sodium sulfate, that is also aqueous. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid, so it's aqueous. It dissociates into its ions, just like hydrochloric acid. That's another strong acid. That'll dissociate into its ions. So at this point, everything is dissociated into ions. Nothing's really happening here. We start out with a bunch of ions, and we end up with the same ions still dissociated. So there's no reaction in this case when we have aqueous NaCl and aqueous sulfuric acid. We have these ions here, and when we finish the reaction, they're still all ions. There is another way we could do this. We could start with solid sodium chloride, and then we'd have liquid, pure liquid sulfuric acid. We'd end up with this solid here, and our hydrochloric acid, this would end up being a gas. So when we look at this and try to write a net ionic equation, we kind of have some problems here. First off, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we wouldn't split this apart here, either one of these compounds. We don't split liquids apart either, and we don't split gases. We really only split up aqueous solutions in net ionic equations. So when we look at this here, we can't write a net ionic equation because we can't split any of these into ions. So this reaction happens, but we can't write a net ionic equation because we don't have any ions forming here. So in answer to our question, if you have aqueous sodium chloride and then your sulfuric acid here, this reaction Nothing happens. Everything stays ions. What you start with is what you end with. In the reaction here, because we have solids, liquids, and gases, we don't split those apart in net ionic equations, so we really can't write a net ionic equation for this reaction. This is Dr. B with an attempt to write the net ionic equation for sodium chloride plus sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.